make the profiles boom, 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 boom. What it is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. What it is is real life, real talk by a real one who really been there, really done that, really held it 10 toes down in the concrete, in the concrete jungle on that level four yard. Corco, mobbing, mashing, dipping, dashing, 11 inch energy. What it isn't and what it ain't never gonna be possible because they got lots of bull, homie, when they run, woo, <laughs> there's lots of bull. It's frivolous talk, bullshit, out of preservatives, man, saying it just to say it. So I was going to say it, that's it. Don't spray it, right? Never delay it. In real life, we about to get straight into it. Knowledge you can't get in college. Paint where there ain't. Real talk by the real one. Now, trip out, as you can tell by that thumbnail, look at me like this. Looking all smooth as shit, going on bald head and a tattoo. And then, of course, Santa Ruta's finest, Mr. At Dubs. You already know what it is, man. If you haven't tapped into my boy Dubs, Tap in one time for your mind, man. Let's get that motherfucking subscribers. Bump, let's get it started. Orally, let's get it. Orally dubs, right? Trip out now. We have a difference of opinion on a lot of things. But, man, great minds think alike. Two wise men, two of the three. Rojo, stand up. Rojo room rocking, right? Again, like and subscribe over there, man. That's the homeboy one time for your mind. Real life. I said real life. On power roof, right? That's the homeboy. But... Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is he had a video that he dropped a while back. I did a little response, and I thought I should piggyback off the response that I did. So I said, I'm giving my own responses piggyback, right? But the what are the chicken fights? Because that's how I get down. Um, I got to thinking a little bit more, and there's a question that's been out there for a long, long, long time. So that's good. Going on fucking long time. I love him long time, right? Army shit. And the question's always been, why do the Africano brothers, the blacks, get along more with the Northanios than they do the South, the Southsiders or Sureños, right? Why? In and out of prison. What, what part of the game is this? Why do Northanios function on the yard with blacks and the others? And why do the Southsiders function on the yard with the whites? And, and, and uh, who else do they function with the paisas and shit and things of that nature, right? I'm going to tell you why. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. There's history. Okay, back in the days before the North and the Sul, it was more so uh, racial. Okay, where now it's political. Okay, so every group rocked with their own. You had the blacks over there, Sasuke, going basketball courts, a Michael Jordan, right? Orale. Over there, you had the, uh, the Mexicans going in handball. If you should lose me, oh yeah. You lose a good thing. They were over there doing their thing. And then, of course, you have the whites. We built this city. We built this city. Called Nikki Six, right? And all those weird motherfuckers. Then, of course, you had the Asians over there. Everybody was doing their thing. Everybody was doing their thing on the yard, but they were racially doing it in different groups. Now, of course, gangs came along. Oh, that cake. Just because the wind blew. Gangs came along and ravaged the Yarda in the 70s and 80s. And everyone started to build loose alliances. You know, uh, my enemy is your enemy. So I said, I'm you my friend, but I don't even like you. I said, but I don't give a fuck. It's get over here, right? And people started to form loose alliances and stick together. Now, um, a lot of people that ain't in the know and that have never been incarcerated and locked up, they think, so I was scared, hey, the South Side rock with the whites to the fullest and the Northanians rock with the blacks to the fullest. And there's nothing like that, man. I said loose alliances. Tawanga, right? Loose. Do you know what loose means? You know what I mean? Go get your pastrami sandwich at Arby's. Put that motherfucker on the table. Open it. The bread will go like this. It'll fall slide off. The meat looks loose, right? It's loose. So um, it doesn't mean people don't get along and people ain't got love on an individual basis for each other or even two or three motherfuckers like, damn, man, I fucks with you. I rock with you to the fullest. To the Dayton's fucking break, right? But at the same time, um, there is no set in stone stamp. So I could do, hey, the, the white guys are going to back my play. Money buys my backup. La onda shit. It's not like that. It's never going to be like that. You know, I've said, and I'll say it again, that I've seen more South and whites go at it, guerra, in prison than any other groups. I've seen more internal confliction with groups, North on North, Red on Red, uh, Blue on Blue, South on South, uh, Africano brothers and whites fighting amongst their own than anyone else. You know, when there's guerra, when there's a real thing popping off, oh, you feel it, you see it, you taste it, you lick it, you stick it, you hit it, you quit it, right? It goes down on the yarda, but you're hardly going to see that. You can do a whole fucking 10-year bid and never see uh, no issues like that. The conflict is always within your own, within your own machine, your own machina, you know what I mean? Um, 
But that question has been out there. Why do the Norteños and the Blacks rock, but the Southsiders and the Blacks don't? Who says they don't? Who says they don't? Now in prison, I will say the Southside Carro is a little bit more old school. They don't take into the climate change. They don't take into the movement of what's going on. Says, okay, they're back to the future. Oh, all right, great Scots, Marty. They're still chilling on some Cholo shit, man, doing their thing. Now, of course, times change. People change. Uh, the aggressive attitudes change. Uh, but what doesn't change is the stilo. What doesn't change is that fucking Chicanismo. What doesn't change is the way they carry themselves and that aggression. And what never will change is the way the people have pride down south, right up north. Same same thing, big difference. But we're going to talk about that right now. Um, so these old ways of programming on, on the yard with the wives of programming doesn't mean, because I hear a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of comments, a lot of people talking about, Hey man, I don't know how you could chop it up or be cool with Southside Homes. They rock with whites and the whites are against us. Who said, who said they're against us? Who said, bro, you're assuming it's an assumption, right? Let me tell you, I've walked the motherfucking yard of us going some good ass woods, sprinkle them in, right? Some good ass people. What? The Pecker Woods ain't against us. What this ass get? Uh-uh. They're doing what they have to do, you know what I mean, politically. But on some real shit, most of them Baltas ain't into all that. They're just living their best life. They're just trying to get by just like a Mexicano on the Yarda and a brother on the Yarda, right? They just happen to, over time, this is the way it worked out. You know, think about it. White and black, that's an issue right off the top. You know what I mean? To what degree of an issue? So I can't, as Martin Luther King tell you, to that degree of issue, right? Oh, really, Malcolm, stand up. That's that type of issue, okay? And then, of course, with the South, because they are on that side of the yard with the whites, right? That, that's the way the political makeup is. People automatically assume that the South and the Blacks rot or have some type of uh, a friction or animosity. And there has been. There has been, you know, in the past. You know, there's been green lights and people fucking say, kill them all, right? And there's been back and forth. And a lot of things on the Kayas, a lot of street gang uh, uh, activities. You know, they don't like to share the Kayas. Some hoods will. Some hoods go, shit, order it. Watch body with Greg, Greg Street, watch. You know what I mean? A lot of hoods will. They'll share. They'll rock together. They'll be cool. But when they go to prison, that's key. You still be there, see? And that's what comes to here in the handbook court. You know what I mean? Over here con tortillas and frijoles. You over there with, uh, you know, pollo, arroz con pollo. That's just how it is. That's what it be like. Okay, it's not a bad thing necessarily. It's not a bad thing. It's just part of everyday life. There's always going to be not racism, but uh, what do you call it? Um, some type of, uh, what do you call it? It's just you almost stuck for words. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'll hold. Right? Not racism, but prejudice. Okay, one way or the other, the people are gonna look at, it and it goes both ways. So I don't like that taco wheat motherfucker because he's wearing socks that are higher than socks and down on the ball. I don't like it. And then on the other one, man, I don't like that what the sort kid because it's not like uh, uh, cocoa butter and you know what I mean. Vatos are fucking tripping either way. Me myself, I'm different. I move like a motherfucker, smooth like a purpose, right? I wiggle differently, but that's me. Everybody is each their own man, but you know traditionally there's always been issues there. Right. And over time, just like with north south issues, we never seen the Yerra. We didn't, a lot of us didn't see the reasoning, the shoe war and fucking um, pair of zapatos and robots. But we didn't know why the fuck people were fighting. We just knew, hey, we we're being told, these are your enemies. Handle your business. So let's get going to what degree of business? To the fucking biggest metal piece of degree you can find. Orale. I got one. And boom, handle your business. You know what I mean? Uh, but at the end of the day, it just what it was. It was an imaginary war. It was something that happened because you were told to do it. And so, okay, you don't question authority because oh, you question authority. What the? No, it's okay. <laughs> You're going to whistle while you twerk, right? And that's just how it is. Now, um, down south, Southern California, there has been friction for a lot of years. Things are, things are changing slowly but surely. And like I said, I think it's because it's so gang related down there. It's so over, overpopulated. It's so congested that what you have, gente, is, is friction. You know, friction. And if you don't look like someone, and if you look in the mirror, so you look just a little bit different, a little different pigmentation, just a little different features, um, you're going to adapt to who you're used to. Okay? And, and that's a cold game. Because I'm not that way. I wasn't raised that way. I didn't raise myself that way. See, I've raised myself since a little kid. The way I was raised, it doesn't matter how the fuck you look. Go to a pinchy broga or a bump on your head like Neil Desai. I don't care about none of that, 
right? Doesn't matter how dark or how light you are or what kind of music you listen to. Which breeze to grow, which breeze to burn. I don't care about none of that. All I care about is the character, the content of your character, man. How you treat me, how I treat you, the respect. You treat me with respect, I'll treat you with respect. You treat me with disrespect, I'll whack you. That's it. Plain and simple. Allegedly, right? That's how it was. I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm going to get off where I'm at. Fuck it. I'm already mad. You know what I mean? You can't get no matter. You know what I mean? You can get gladder though. Anyways, and that's what how I was raised. And that's how I raised myself in the correctional institutions and throughout YA and so on and so forth. The, and the beat goes on like the whispers, right? So what you know, what you have to know is there's always been that friction down there because it's a very congested place down south. There's a lot of gangs. And with gangs, man, breeds fucking pride. And with pride, breeds fucking animosity towards the next people that, think, that are trying to be more prouder than you. You know? So, of course, there were some racial lines that were drawn there back in the days prior to gangs springing up, prior to people even having vaudevilles developed, prior to a lot. And they just kept that snowball effect going, man. They just kept rolling and rocking, right? And that's why there's always been a Mexicano and a black issue. Now, anyone that knows, even my abuelito, straight, straight out of Mexico, a Mexican national, you know what I mean? Straight doing this thing down, down south. And I'm really down south. I can think I stand up. I'm going to tell you right now, there's some type of fear there. It's the fear of the unknown. It's like, I don't like the Africano porque I don't know. He says, okay, that's Dave Chappelle. Oh, he's funny as fuck. Watch out. Watch out. Dave Chappelle's like, what you say? Blobsters, right? And motherfuckers just, they, 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 it's the unknown. It's the unknowing. And, and, and there starts to develop some type of profiling, some type of fucking, uh, uh, you know, um, basically friction there. And it goes both ways, man. I met some old school brothers, man, that would be like, man, I don't like that taco wheat, motherfucker. Right? That's good. Why you got to eat tacos? Y'all like tacos. Yeah, we do like tacos. Man, the motherfuckers are bomb con lengua, carranza, con suavecita. You know I mean? A little a fucking uh, uh, cilantro. <clears throat> Toma, right? And the winner is. Okay, so everyone judges everyone and everyone uh, bases people. They judge books by their covers, but it's not like that. So down south, yeah, there has been some animosity, but they're working on this. So give them a chance. Let the vatos work on it. I think over time, um, the racial disparities, the, the, the things that they're going through, um, can be overcame. You know, it could always be overcame. And, and you know, people like to say, uh, like I've I, Dub seen Dub's video, uh, why the, uh, the Southsiders will never give the blacks heads up fades. And it has nothing to do with being scary and it had nothing to do with because fuckers that, uh, are scared, they're all short Mexicans and it had nothing to do with because fucking vatos are fucking, you know, they, they just woke up, uh, it was cold that night. It has nothing to do with that. What it has to do with is that's because the way the gangs want it, man. There's rules. Mexicans follow the rules. The brothers have to follow their rules. You know, there's rules. Fensa and Latira were rule breakers. But in there, you break rules, they break your back. And so you have to follow the rules. And let me tell you, man, the people that may be and the ones that are running the fucking Mexicano cars, uh, okay, they have rules. I so say you break their rules, it's death. Death becomes you, right? So it's, it's best just to follow the rules and rules deemed that no. You know what I mean? Not only the blacks, but the whites as well, right? So, you know, when, when Dubs did that uh, video talking about that why Mexicans won't give blacks the heads up fades, um, they won't give the whites the head up fades either, or the Asian the head up fades, or the North Indian the head up fades, or the, you know what I mean? Or each other the head up fade. Nobody gets a fade, homes. Everybody gets metal. That's it. You know, and people took it and like, yes, yeah, because you're all scared of the brothers, man. You know what I mean? And you best believe this. The brothers are strong, but the essay's the deepest. And then they went on and on. I read the, uh, you know, all the messages. I looked at all the comments. And I was like, man, that's the furthest from the fucking truth. Truth and facts are, well, you can't give nobody a fade. There will be no more fades in the state of California. Spence on the I know a man will take a head, head up one, will take a fade, man, and do it, push it to the next light. But in this fucking game that we call fucking prison, right? Charlie Holmes, you know, Charlie Street. You know what I mean? Know your fucking roll boulevard. Because the rock says, finally, you will find out. On the four yard. That's just what it is now. As far as North Daniels, up north, Northern California, just because the wind blows. You know what I mean? In the yay area, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. in the valley, nothing scary. Because the motherfuckers do it like fire, like fire. Oh, did we wiggle up north? Sir, you know what I mean? Um, We've always had a decent relationship with the brothers. Now, I'll tell you about the city of Merced, the Valle, right? Central Valley 209 stand up. You guys know what it is. We've always had a little friction there. And it's not because they were black and because we were brown. Had zero to do with that. I got black combos all day. That motherfucker's wiggling. That motherfucker dance better than all of us. Why would we do this? And the motherfucker's doing the running man. 
I always thought something was weird with that shit. And why is she better at dancing? It's like, yeah, the brother's not a girl. They're a little funky, right? They're not a groove. They got soul. Let's say, well, the Mexicans, we do this. That's our shit. The lean back. And we lean like the cholo. You know what I mean? That what those over there like, every little step I take, you will be there. That those guys. Anyways, but he was a homeboy. And that's all that mattered. He was a Norteño. He ceased to be any color or anything. And he was a Norteño striving. So why do the Norteños and the Blacks uh, uh, treat each other differently? Not necessarily. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let you put some breaking in it. Right? Break that. Hold that, bro. Hold that thought. Um, they do though. It's just a little, is that, you know what I mean? It's because we grew up thinking differently up north. Not watered down, not fucking uh, uh not in the know, not behind fucking in years, childhood. We chose to be against the grain and a little bit different up north, meaning the Africano brothers and us, man, you gotta understand, we shared a lot of the same neighborhoods. And over years, man, because we rocked on the same yards in prison. You know, you developed relationships, man. You got outside of those fucking walls and you continue those relationships for the money, right? And for the love of the people. You know, there's been a lot of groups that have sprung from the ashes in Northern California. In Oakland, you had the Black Panther Party, right? You had the Chicanismo that was mobbing and macking up north, right? You had Brown Berets. You had uh, 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 just so many different groups developed in Northern and uh, Southern California as well. But in Northern California, simultaneously with the Black Panther Party and a lot of the other brother groups that you had going on. And so people grew together, marched together, fought together. There's been an underlying love, black and brown love up north in Northern California. I can't call it like an alcoholic. I don't know who started this. So okay. But it started and never dearly departed, right? Now, we're in reverse up north. Okay, we're in reverse. Whereas down south, they're starting to slowly develop the relationship. I guess I guess our rose compo ain't that bad, right? Everyone's starting to come together. Whereas up north, I've noticed a little dissension. You know, in my neighborhood, man, we've always uh, 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 went at it with whoever fucking wanted it, right? Anybody can get it type shit. And it seems that there's always been one group that's always wanted it. The Merced Gangster Grips. The Gangster Crips because they were a strong clica. You know what I mean? A hard clica. And we've always bumped heads. Now, I don't even know the reason why it started. So I was incarcerated. Next thing you know, I got out there like, hey, the, the Crips were shooting at me. You know what I mean? Allegedly. And, uh, and that's what it was. And I just, it just was back and forth. But um, it wasn't like all brothers and us didn't get along, man. But everyone assumes that, oh, man, in Merced, the Norteños don't get along with none of the brothers. Charlie Holmes, I got a lot of homeboys from Paru that I get along with and a lot of other crips. It's just one certain group, right? Don't put everyone in the mig right there. This ain't gumbo. So you can't just throw everything in there, right? So it, it tastes good, though, right? Menudo. But anyways, um, that's just how it was. But I'm speaking on all throughout Northern California, there's a lot of love shown there, black and brown unity. You know, of course, you have black and brown entertainment, man. Shout out to Gold Toes, you know, San Francisco finest, doing his real things in real life, straight up out of Houston. That's just what it is, man. There's always been there, man. The brothers rock like that in the Bay Area, man. It's a different flavor. You know, they like to say that the Norteños uh, act like blacks or they act like that. I don't, like I said, man, I don't know how anyone acts. You know what I mean? I just know how motherfuckers move, smooth with a purpose. That's what I know. So um, uh, will uh, Norteños give blacks head the face? No. Mm-mm. -mm. Indubitably, right? No way, Jose. Literally, right? Will they give the white? Nope, nope. You can't get that one either. Nobody's getting head up fades, so it is not a north thing or a south thing. And you know, a lot of people will the southerners because they rock with whites, and that has nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? Um, nobody's giving nobody fades, so we're going to agree. We're going to agree to agree on that one. Um, as far as the brothers, man, like I said, uh, the north has always showed just a little bit more love, and that's just because they rock together, man. But I think eventually over time, everyone's going to come together like cheeks and clap, you know, and that's just how it is. So so that question that people pose, you know, why do Norteños rock with the blacks and Southsiders don't? Mm -mm. You know, that's the that's the answer right there. The, the answer is, man, that there is no answer. You know, no one knows why. You know, it's just a difference of opinions, a matter of opinions, how you were raised, you know, where down south, they were raised more Mexican traditional. You know what I mean? And Mexican traditional is is being kind of if you're not if you're not aware of it, Holmes, then just stay the fuck away from it. Stay keep stay in your own lane. Keep to your own people. Keep to your own business. Tribalism. That's how it is. Whereas up north, man, it was a little bit more spread out. You know what I mean? We didn't have much. Everybody worked together. Sounds good. Orale. 
The brothers are strong. The essays, the deepest is all good, man. The brothers are strong though, right? So come on, let's do it. And then of course, developing that relationship, like I said, on the same sides of the yard, um, just because of political differences and gang differences has helped develop and further push the relationship along. And you know, I mean, I got a lot of strong ass brothers that are my homeboys, man. Shouts out respects to the black movement. You already know what it is, man. Black and brown unity. And I'm talking about North and South, and that's just how we're going to wait. Anyways, I hope that answers some of the question, but I wanted to touch on that real fast one time for my mentality because it is what it is. With that being said, that one right there being said, I think we're all fucking moving towards the goal of a green bag. So okay, we want going on beachy leprechauns. Speaking of what guy, we what the fuck? We need that big bag, man. And I just, it doesn't matter what color you are, man. Everyone's gonna get it. Nobody's stronger than others. No one's faster. No one's smarter. No one jumps higher. No one. There's people from every walk, race, religion, everything that does everything. That's okay. Don't sleep on it. With that being said, move smooth with a purpose. Go out there, get everything for your family. Treat others like you want to be treated, man. It doesn't matter what they look like. At the end of the day, say, yeah, as long as the fucking you're doing righteously by them, they'll do righteously by you. If they don't, you already know. Pico de gallo. With that being said, hit that like, that thumbs up one time for your mind. Fuck with your boy right here on Gunner's Profiles. Gunner's Collector 2. I'm boom banging over there. Make sure that you tap in with my boy Dubs as well as my boy Rojo out of the Rojo room and a convict's perspective. We're making it happen. If you don't like me, because I have a bigger people than you, if you don't like me, just because of my brown brother. If you don't like me because you think I'm a jack cat, well, then you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. That's the betterment of all people. And in that fashion, God damn, I lost a little weight over there. Did I? One never knows, does one. The gun. Bang, bang.